clap. We are going to tackle a very important problem from today's lead code problem is 2040. And the title is saying that kth is smallest product of two sorted array we have to find. And uh, it is a very uh, interesting problem. And we, we, are, we are going to tackle this problem. So it's a really interesting problem. And it combines a binary search and uh, some smart counting tricks are there. So let's break it down with the example and uh, we'll try run the code. Okay. So what the question is saying that we have given two sorted uh, zero index integer array nums1 and nums2. As you can see in the example, we have we can see that these are the nums we have given. As well as an integer k we have given and we have to return the kth one based smallest product of nums1 at i and then nums2 at j and both we have to multiply right means the smallest product of what kth right and then saying that the i should be greater than 0 should be less than length and similar for this case j so if you observe that the two given array we have given correct one d array and each have two two elements k equal to two the explanation is saying that the two smallest product are if you if we multiply nums at uh, one at zero nums nums one at zero and then nums two at zero if you multiply so each element is two and three multiply you will get six similarly if you multiply you will get eight right so the smallest product is a second smallest product is eight right so and we are getting this output okay so let's break it down and understand the logic what is the question is saying that two sorted integer array nums1 nums2 right and we need to return the kth smallest product of element from both the arrays and so nums nums1 at i and nums2 dot j if we will multiply right so so we have to return the kth smallest product right so these are the you can say product and of, of this product if you multiply each of the elements to the corresponding arrays elements right so you will get what the kth has smallest product we have to find right and these are the constant we have given right it means it means uh, let's suppose uh what what the intuition of the problem is so the problem is saying that uh we have to find the smallest uh, product right kth smallest product so the intuition says that a brute force approach would be a would be to generate all the possible product and we can sort them but it leads to time complexity right so the time complexity will increases and it will give you the time limit exceeded since we are going to come we are going to create all the uh, generate all the possible products right and so the total combination we can go up to what 5 into 10 to the power 4 and that will become what approximately into multiply 2 so it will become 2.5 into 10 to the power 9 approximately right it means because the total complexity can be up to this one so so better we will use not to go for the time complexity thing not to go to exceed the time limit what we will do we will go for binary search right we will use the binary search and then uh then we'll uh then we'll do the exact uh, uh find finding the problem right means we we are given two nums right uh, nums one and nums two and means two sorted array we have given and we want to find the kth smallest product so you can make using one product from the each array right so if you will multiply nums one at i and nums2 at j where i and j are valid indices right so it is pretty straightforward right but there is a twist that is we will we will not use the brute force right because the brute force will not work right so what we should do so i i'll suggest that don't try don't even try the nested loops right because as you can see right more than uh 50 000 elements will be there right and the brute force will give up and you will see the billions of combination is coming so what 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 do you do use the binary search to rescue this problem okay and this is the purpose to understand the intuition here understand so what we will do we'll uh 
we will use binary search on the product value itself yes and not the indices so on the actual numbers we will use and at each step uh, we'll uh, guess a value mid and we'll ask how many product are less than equal to mid understand so to to count how many products are there right which is less than equal to mid right means what we are trying to do we will do the binary search right on the uh, product product itself right and then then we have to find what we have, we have to check the value the value the the product value which is less than equal to mid means how many products are which is less than equal to mid correct and if the uh, count is uh, if the count is uh, less than let's suppose the given k right k, k we have also given so we'll go right otherwise we'll go left right so that is why this concept is called the core logic means there will be a count function that will count how many products are less than equal to the mid so we will loop over the nums at uh, nums one at i right and if the nums at one at i is greater than or equal to zero then nums at i we will multiply nums at two right j and this product if it is increases with the nums at j so we can use upper bound then if the nums at uh, nums one at i is less than zero means then we are doing the product that will decreases the nums at j so we'll use the lower count lower bound but in the reverse okay so the very easy thing to understand is if will if the count is less than k will go right if the count is greater will go to the left understand so this count function how it will work to count how many products are less than mid we will do these following uh, steps right will follow each each you can say uh, will do uh, will follow this each in nums at nums one right we can say so if a is a uh, positive let's suppose the element in this is let's suppose we'll call a right or element so if the element is positive right means greater than equal to zero that is positive then the product increases with what num set j correct so so we'll go for the upper bound we can use our upper bound if it is negative means we'll, it will decreases and we'll take as a no, lower bound right and so we'll take in the reverse order so we will apply this binary search accordingly in the on the num2 okay so let's understand how we are going how we are going to do this okay so let's suppose uh, the given function we have right where we are getting nums1 nums2 and k we have given right and we have to return return the long right k the smallest product we have to return so first of all we'll define the left and right okay so this is your left and this is your right because according to the given constant while left is less than right correct we'll check if while the left is left is less than right till this till that this loop will work right so first of all we'll find the mid you know the binary search we are going for the binary search so binary search in the binary search if uh, the array have left and right right so the mid half of the problem will be divided right so the half search will be either in the left or right and that depends on what mid so for that we have to find the mid left plus right minus left by divide by 2 and so in this case if the count is less than equal to nums1 and nums2 and mid right if it is less than this right so we'll create this function count less or equal right we'll pass nums1 nums2 we'll check with the mid if so the mid will check right it is uh, smaller than or greater than right means how many products are less than mid so this function will give you uh, uh will find if the count is less than go go right otherwise go go left that this function will do right then we'll take if uh it if it is uh if this function gives you right it is coming true means left equal to mid plus one we'll say else we'll say right equal to mid right so the this function count less or equal if it is less or equal then what we will do we will do left equal to mid plus one means half of the array search will be discarded and then 
the left will will come from what minus this this index to the left search right means half of the problem is gone right half of the search space is gone otherwise we will do for the right is equal to mid so in this case the left left search has been moved to this this side it means this half search let's suppose is discarded if the count and less is equal is not equal it means the right will discard the half of this from the right side it will discard okay and so mid will move to right uh, right will move from right to the mid right you understand the bandage search okay no need to explain much okay so uh, after that we will return the left correct you know because mid plus one will keep doing that we will get the left now the function count le less or equal is there so let's understand so this function will take argument to array and one mid right so we'll take count we'll check for each element of the uh, nums element means array one we'll check let's suppose we'll say a if a is greater than equal to zero right or you can say num so count plus equal to what will keep incrementing this plus so there is a will create a count positive function right and we'll pass the array to an a and mid so we'll keep checking the element right so uh like what what we are trying to do we are we, we are doing uh, what we are checking each function right means uh this count function will check actually uh you can say uh it will check if it is positive right if it is positive and the this uh this value is count positive right it means count will increases correct so we'll increase like this okay and then you will get the count similarly we will go for the count positive so this count positive will take like a binary search right where we will check there will be low and there is a high right so low and high we will check how we'll take the mid low plus high by two you can you can you can do and each element you will you will do multiply you will check less than equal to mid if it is less than equal to mid will increase the low mid plus one right otherwise m plus one that is mid right and the high equal to mid like similarly you know the binary search that you will do here and it will give you the low right means this count positive function will uh, will give you the count positive right it will give you the count okay right so low low you will get return the low now understand the count negative so similarly you will do as you have done for the count positive you will get the this one right so you just return what uh nums length minus low you will get the count negative okay so all all these codes are done right let's understand the complexity what is the time complexity okay so as you have observed right if there is uh let's suppose we'll consider n equal to nums dot length and uh, this is the n is the length of the array one and m is the length of array two right so the binary search we are doing in the log max product range right that may be a uh, iteration of approximately 64 iteration we are doing okay we are doing multiply right so for each iteration we'll loop over right we are doing the binary search and for the binary you know o of n log m is there right means we are doing multiply and then if we'll take n log m log r right so it will multiply 2 into 10 to the power 10 and it is efficient for the uh, for the given constraint okay so if you will try run this example 2 and 5 right <clears throat> and there is another nums 2 that's of 3 4 and k equal to 2 so if you take the product 2 3 this it will come like this right so total if you observe 6 8 15 and 20 right what is the smallest is coming so this 8 is the smallest one right if you if you sort this right the, all the product you will see this this is the smallest one right so bind this search will find the smallest number right and at least two product are less than the nums right and so we'll return the eight i hope you understand if you have any doubt in this video please ping me in the comment box right so in this video we have used the binary search on the product value we have used two binary searches inside the, to count the valid product one for the positive one for the negative and we have used long to abide the workflow and we have handled the largest 
constant efficiency right large constants efficient efficiently we have handled right so thank you for the support and if you like this video please hit subscribe this channel and if you have any suggestion please put in the comment box thank you thank you for watching this video guys thank you guys thank you for watching this video if you found this video helpful please like subscribe and let us know what you want to learn next in the comment below and thank you thank you for watching this video